Yo, what's up, guys? T-Subs here, and we're back with another Draft League video. I'm just really here quickly for our Week 8 game to um, let you guys know I didn't really have time this week to get the graphics made or to make it myself. I don't get them made. I make it myself. Um, but do that and then record and write out a script and things like that. Um, it's a really, really short week for me as I only have until like Tuesday to get this game finished up and edited and everything like that because um, I'm going to be out of town. I don't really have time to do everything like that uh, for the team to learn stuff, but we did try our best. This was our week eight, our final game of the BPRD League. Um, at least this season, we can't make playoffs. Our opponent's already clinched, so this game doesn't mean like a whole lot, but we still wanted to try to come out and win this week. So um, I, I, am, I apologize for no team builder and stuff, but um, you know, I would appreciate every single one of y'all support. I want to appreciate everyone who loved the graphics um, as I did put a lot of time and effort into them. And, you know, hopefully I'll get to you guys, uh, see you guys soon with some more Draft League content. But uh, I just want to let y'all know, thank you for uh, watching and supporting me. And uh, let's get right into the game. And we're getting into the battle with our opponent for our final week of the BBRD League. Let's see what six they decided to bring. Already wish them good luck, have fun. Of course, we do already know their Terra Captain is coming in Porygon 2. Um, and we already know their Terra type. But let's see what else they decided to bring. Oh, that's the first one, actually, Porygon 2, which is running the Terra Fairy this week. Um, which I thought it'd be either Terra Fairy or Poison. I kind of leaned more towards Poison in uh, my thought process when prepping, but should still be fine for this. Uh, we see Grimmsnarl, Keldeo, Rotom Heat, uh, Dragalge, and what was that last one? Metagross, okay. The things we do not see is the Ursa Luna or the Spectrier. Okay, you just don't bring your top two Pokemon. I get it. I mean, Spectre, I get it at Ursaring. But no Ursa Luna is wild. No Ursa Luna is actually insane. Uh, no Bramblegast and no Scyther. So they didn't bring either hazard removals. So I think looking at this team, I'm pretty safe just to lead off with... Um, with Dawnfan and get my rocks up. I don't see why not. Just get them up. And then make them deal with it for the rest of the game. Worst case is like they lead Grim and Taunt, I guess. Um, in terms of their hazards, they have Metagross with its rocks. And they have Dragals with Toxic Spikes. So, already with some good luck have fun. Let's see if we can't end our season here with a win. That'd be super, super cool. We at least know that we're not going to be bottom seed. But with this win, we could be, I think, like the 11th or 12th. So nothing crazy, right? But it'd still be better than any up anything lower right so let's try to end our season off strong they have already clinched playoffs so this is more so for them um and i actually need to mess with something in my settings on my computer uh because i can see that i'm lagging a bit hopefully uh we'll be okay but they're gonna lead off with the keldeo which is actually a really bad thing that's probably the one thing that does um counter our lead so give me one second while i try to fix this for us but we are gonna have to pivot out already i don't really want to go hard as zoomer right now but um that might be what i do here um because what else could i pivot into i could pivot into all the stars because i don't really need it to check the metagro or not the metagross the um the Ursa Luna anymore. But I think that might be what I do here. If they ice move, if they icy wind, I mean, that's a good middle ground play. I think they could just flip turn. Or I guess if they wanted to, they could just uh, fire off a sacred sword. But we'll see what they decide to do right now. I'm going to go hard into my trode. And I'm going to float with my air balloon, which is not going to matter. They're going to flip turn out here. Do about 33 to me with that flip turn. Um. Let's see, 33 with a flip turn. Can we see anything based off that? Um, do we see that they're definitely like timid? That's good to know. It may be a choice set based on that flip turn, but we'll have to figure that out later in the game. So of course our win con here is going to be Azumarill. Um, we need to weaken the P2. 
We can always beat the Grim Snarl. T Wave would be annoying though. Kelio's fine. Rotom Heat's fine. Dragald probably need no Dragald just gets one shot. We need to weaken the meta girl. So it's a little bit of chip on things and we'll be fine. They're gonna go into the Dragald here. I'm gonna just volt switch out. I don't need to predict or anything. My pivot into this would probably be my Ursa Ring for the time being. Um, that are gonna go hard Dawn fan to spin till that before they get up T spikes. I think for now I'm gonna go ahead and just volt switch and uh, go into my Ursa Ring. Because now my Ursa Ring doesn't have to be a Spectre, which is super, super nice. Really, Ursa Ring just here for like the Rota, maybe, and the Dragalge. We should be fine elsewise. Let's go into Ursa Ring. Let's see what they decide to do here. And we're going to see a sub. Okay, so maybe like sub Black Sludge. Yeah, let's look. that's what we're going to see here. Um, we should live anything from this. Should eat. Should be able to chew. Uh, Body Slam is free against their team. I guess we could try to... We can crunch on the following turn after we break the sub. Predicting the Metagross to come in. But for now, we can just go ahead and break sub. Uh, we are going to outspeed this thing. So that's good to know. So, substitute Dragalge. And what else are we going to see? Are we going to see... Like, Toxic? No, Sludge Wave. Okay. The sludge wave and this thing's sitting probably back up at about 80 percent all right so that sludge wave damage that we saw there let's see sludge wave so they probably don't have t-spikes which is super super nice right um so 285 they did 26 with the sludge wave so they are actually not that offensively invested that's super nice. I'm going to go ahead and fire off a crunch this turn. It'll still do good damage to this. And then it'll predict the Metagross coming in. Um, I don't think you ever go Keldeo and risk yourself getting poisoned. I guess you could go a Grimmsnarl or P2 would be fine. Uh, but we're going to stand. We're going to crunch this thing. Not do a ton. They're just going to Sludge Wave me. Do I drop to a Draco here? Absolutely not. I'm going to go ahead and Body Slam into Rest here. That should be fine. And get some more damage off on this thing. Uh, we did like 25 with that crunch. So I think it's a Spideptra Gulch is my guess. Just based off of what I'm seeing. Which isn't too bad. Not too bad to deal with. Um, I think sitting at about like 65. If they want to go into Metagross now, I'll get on them. But I get a free Body Slam off here. Do we see a Para? No Paras. So they didn't fire off a Draco, but this turn I can click rest and we'll be fine. Let's go ahead and do that. So, I'm trying to think. How much damage do you need on P2 uh, with a Zoomerill? It's super nice that they're not Terra Poison. Um, so at plus 6, how much is the playoff doing? It's we need like rocks chip. If we get up rocks, then we should kill even a fizz def Porygon too. Keldeo, of course, can't touch us. Rotom heat drops. How much damage do we need on that Metagross so the Aqua Jet Oko's it? Um, we do need a good amount of chip, like bringing it down to like 60, uh, 65 probably, depending on their uh, HP investment and things like that. So that's what we'll. So that's all we need. You need to weaken the Metagross a bit. Uh, and then just get rocks up for the P2. And then we'll be good. We'll be in a good spot. So they're actually going to switch out here. So they're going to conserve their Dragalge at about like maybe a third of their its HP. We are going to see the Rotom come in here. And I feel like the only reason you go Rotom here is to trick me. Like, I don't know what else you would do. So what don't I mind getting tricked here? Um... Maybe all the stars is fine. The only problem would be if they overheat, right? Which is a big concern of mine. What else don't I want to get tricked? I could go into Urshifu, let this thing get tricked. Um, hmm. I don't really want to be tricked with that either. 
I think we'll go. Just one go Don Fan then. Don Fan taking a huge chunk from this thing though is the problem. Rotom. Eat. Yeah, we're taking a ton. So let me think. I could pivot out here. Oh man, I'm not in a good spot. I'm gonna go ahead and stay in. I don't. I guess I'll take the L here. If they trick me, they trick me. They're gonna sub on this thing too. Okay, that's good for me. I am not getting tricked. They're gonna be substitute Rotom, so maybe like um sub Nasty Pot maybe. But we're gonna sleep talk off as long as we don't roll a rest. Why did I say it? We rolled a rest. Um. Okay, and we're going to see leftovers. So rocks are going to be super important for this Rotom as well. Sub lefties Rotom. It would have been nice to see uh, how much a Body Slam or Crunch would have done if it would have broke sub, anything like that. We're going to see a Thunderbolt come off, though. Going to knock us down to 317. And we're going we're gonna to chew that pretty well. So it did 17 with a Thunderbolt. The Thunderbolt. It's 17, and we're going to double roll rest because, I mean, why not, right? Um, but that's like no special attack investment based on that Thunderbolt damage. So, if it's Spid Def, we break its sub. If it's Fizz Def, we should also break its sub. So, we won't know either way. But we can go ahead and just click Body Slam here and be in an okay spot. So, they're going to Thunderbolt me again. I mean, I don't see why you don't just pivot into Keldeo. Maybe they do that on a rest turn. That's my only guess. Um, but I'm good just staying in here. Just uh, breaking sub and things like that. I'm going to go ahead and body slam again. Even if they pivot out, like if they go Keldeo, like we're, they're risking a para. Same thing with Metagross. They're, they're risking a para. You know, so we'll be okay. We're going to see an overheat this time around. So this does kind of force me into rest. I mean, I don't have to rest, right? But I would like to be rested up so I can continue taking hits from both of all their uh, special threats with my Ursaring. We're going to do about like 30%. So that's looking more spadef. Maybe a mixed wall, though. I'm going to go ahead and click rest this turn. I'm going to click it early. They're sitting at about like 70% if I had to guess. Uh, which is nice for our Urshifu as well. So what are we going to see at their last move? Are we going to see Volt Switch? Are we going to see a Willow? I mean, I'm just trying to think what their last move could be. I would, I would, ex I would have thought an Nasty Plot, Sub Nasty Plot. Why are they running so much Sub for? Like, what on my team does that help against? Um, I don't know. But they're going to pivot out this time, I guess, uh, into Keldeo, maybe? They're going to go Master Org, which is the Grim Snarl. Okay. So, I mean, I get to stay in again. And just see what this thing wants to do. If it wants to set up screens, go ahead, right? Um, like, if you want to set up screens, that's cool with me. Because uh, what else would I pivot into? Like, maybe Trode? I could go into Trode here if I really wanted to and taunt this thing. But it's going to get up both its screens no matter what. Here. So I think I'm fine just to stay in. Or this is my chance to go into Dawn Fan and actually get my rocks up. That's actually what I'm going to do. I think that's what I want to do. We're going to go get our rocks up right now. So what are you going to do here? Oh, bulk up. You're just all the setup type of moves, man. I'm not going to lie. Bulk up is kind of a problem. Um, Nice because no screens, right? But bulk up is kind of scary. So... With that being said, do I just want to go into Trode and damage this? I think I do. I don't think I want to set up my rocks right now. I think I'm going to wait for now. I'm going to go ahead and go into Trode. And just start getting into this thing. Oh, man. I don't do that much. I think that's a fine play. I don't really need Trode for too much this game. I'm going to go ahead and go into Trode. And we're going to go ahead and try to just beat this thing down a bit. I don't want to get my rocks up just yet. I don't want to let this thing get too set up with bulk ups, right? So we're going to see Grimmsnarl going to take another hit. Or another bulk up, I mean. Um, Leaf Storm isn't doing a ton. I could taunt this thing, though, prevent it from setting up even further. I do drop 
to pretty much anything from this Grim Snarl. So I'm going to go ahead and just fire off a Leaf Storm here. There's no point in me tearing. I'll just become weak to like Darkest Lariat or whatever dark coverage. Let's go ahead and click Leaf Storm here. Just get some damage off on this thing. We're going to do about 40, 45, which is pretty good damage. Um, a bit more than I expected. They're going to drain punch me, though. So now I wish I teared. Wow. That really sucks. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and... Wow, that sucks. Drain punch. So what is my best move after this? I could go into a Zoomero and pressure this thing out right away, which I think is a fine move because, I mean, you have to drop, right? I don't care if you're plus two defense. I imagine you drop. It's a roll, but after the Leaf Storm damage, I should be in range. So I'll Terra this turn uh, so they can't Dream Punch any more HP back. Yeah, and then I should be able to kill with play rough and be fine. I think that's my best move. Okay, we'll go ahead and Terra here. We're gonna fire off a Leaf Storm here. So now I wish I Terra last turn. Just why would you drain punch on them Terra Ghost? You know, good play on them. Good freaking play. They got me there. So we're gonna go ahead and Terra Ghost. I mean, if they. Drain Punch again will be in a good spot, right? I mean, were they predicting me to go into, like, Urshifu or something? I don't know. We're going ahead. They're going to kill me with a Spare Break here. Okay. So, Grim kills uh, Trode. So, our Terra Captain finally drops for the final time this season. RIP. But I enjoyed using Terra Trode. I think it did really, really well. I regretted, like, the one week... I didn't bring it right so I forgot about the aftermath so this thing's actually a lot weaker than I thought so could I go into something else like could I go into Urshifu instead and iron head this thing I think I could um, and it would kill based on the damage I'm seeing uh, and then they wouldn't be able to prankster me so I think I'm cool with that I think I'm cool with going into Urshifu and iron heading Rather than going into a Zoomero, because they can't prankster T wave me in case that's their last move. Which would make sense. I don't know. We can go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go ahead. Ooh, actually this thing's a bit more Hmm, this thing's a bit healthier than I thought, but we're here. We're doing it. Let's get this iron head off. I think we should be able to pick up the KO. Uh if they pivot out, I mean go ahead. They can go Rotom, they can go uh P two if they really wanted to. Um, but I think we should be able to pick up the KO here. They could try to go into Metagross, I guess, because obviously I click Poison or our Steel move here, and they just can go into Metagross. But then I get the damage off I need with a, um, a Wicked Blow, and then Azu's in a really great spot. But we are going to be able to pick up the KO, luckily. So, or she's going to knock out the grim star which is a completely different set i was very very prepared for screens and zero prepared for bulk up so what's your play here you go p2 here and get the tear off that would be my thought process you could also go keldeo i suppose um in which case i would probably go hmm maybe azumaro maybe i just go azumaro uh and just try to risk the game there. Because even... We also beat your goals and kill it. We're going to Pete's weekend. Keldeo can't break us. P2 just needs a bit of chip. But I'm okay risking it. Metagross would be the only problem. But it wouldn't be able to one-shot me. So we're going to see our, the Metagross actually come in. So rather... I'm going to go ahead and stay in. I'm going to go ahead and fire off a Wicked Blow here. And get this thing in range. Or my uh, Azumarill. I'm fine with this. I'm completely, completely fine with this. If they knock me out this turn, then I get to go in the Dawn Fan the following turn and set up my rocks. And then Azumarill just needs the Keldeo to come in. And I get to claim. So yeah, they're going to be Colbert. That's cool. 
That's fine with me. Mm. Just wanted the damage off. We need to get a big, big crit as we always do with the move. And we're going to see iron defense. Okay, I mean, does this thing just drop anyways? I feel like this thing just drops. That Cobra Berry? Let me see. Cobra. Um, knocked it down to like 40%. So we'll probably do like 60 with the Cobra. So yeah, just like max HP. And then at plus two. I mean, we just crit through. So it doesn't matter. I'm going to just Wicked Blow here. Yeah, I get to click it again. I would love the Trailblaze on the Keldeo coming in, but I think I'm just free to click it. Why were they... Did they ever get about Wicked Blow critting through? I'm confused. So, Iron Defense. Uh, it doesn't matter. I don't even write it down because the Metagross is going to go down here. So, Metagross... Oh, no. Urshi kills Meta. What do you go into now? I guess Keldeo? That's... Or P2. I guess you have P2 as well. In which case, if they go P2, do I just stay in an Iron Head so that I can win with Azumarill? I could do that. Um, we're going to see Seabreeze the Caldeo again. So, I'm going to go ahead and go Torn here. I think Torn is fine. I don't necessarily need it for anything on this team. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and see what they decide to do. I can find out if this thing's scarved, whatever. So, versus uh, this Keldeo, let's see what they decide to do. They can go ahead and flip turn me. So, nothing crazy. And, I mean, if you bring in Rotom Heat, I think I could just go... Well, I don't want to go Domfan and let it have a sub, because I wouldn't break its sub with Knock, I don't think. Rotom Heat... Comes in here. And then. I mean, I guess I could just go back into whatever the Pokemon's called, Ursaring, and just be fine that way. They don't have Volt Switch, I don't think. So, Overheat, Thunderbolt, Sub. And I, I, I'd have to guess it's a status move. Like, that's my only thought. But I mean, with Metal Gross gone. Azumarill is like in a prime position just to win this game. We look great right now. Let's go ahead and go into Ursaring. I, I think we can take a win. Like, I, I, I'm i definitely like speaking pretty soon, right? But I think we're just in a good spot. I don't think... I mean, I think we're good. I'm trying to think, what setup moves does Porygon 2 get? Because obviously that Porygon 2 is probably going to be set up right. We've seen their entire team. It's just some kind of variation of setup minus the um the Kelio which could still be called mine but I'm guessing it's scarfed or specs. Um we're gonna go ahead and go into Earth Ring here as a Thunderbolt. I get to go ahead and click body slam here pretty freely against their team. Yeah I mean what does Porygon get to uh Porygon to get agility uh you could be trick room defense curl does this thing not get Combine or Nasty Plot? It doesn't. So yeah, I'm not the Kelio, which could still be called mine, but I'm guessing it's Scarfed or Specs. Um, we're going to go ahead and go into Earth Ring here as a Thunderbolt. I get to go ahead and click Body Slam here pretty freely against their team. Yeah, I mean, what does Porygon get to, uh, Porygon to get? Agility. Uh, you could be Trick Room. Defense curl. Does this thing not get combine or nasty plot? It doesn't. So yeah, I'm not afraid of this Porygon 2 at all. I'm gonna go ahead and click Sleep Talk here. Yeah, I want I haven't burned any turns of sleep yet on this rest cycle, so I'm gonna go ahead and click it. They're gonna go ahead and swap out here. The room is a bit healthier, but it always drops to my, uh, my Aqua Jet, so no big deal. We're gonna go see this thing come in. Um, and I mean, if we get a big body slam off, that'd be cool. I've only gotten rest, crunch. Well, not exactly what I wanted. I mean, yeah, we're gonna get the Jess fight. If this is a physical Keldeo, 
I'm gonna be mad at you, Ursaring. We're, we're gonna be having a talk after the game. I don't care if the season's over. We're gonna have to have a long talk about what I just saw. But we're gonna go ahead and swap back in the Torn. No reason not to, right? And I'm really hoping they like lock into like a Surf and two at KO me. We're gonna see Secret Sword come in, so we're gonna eat it. 222 though is gonna knock me down to. It's gonna do 30% with a Secret Sword. So definitely not specs. Looking like a scarf set, maybe modest. It would have been Hyrule Timid or modest. So this is a pretty free nasty plot for me. You use nasty plot then instead. Screw it, why not? Right? Let's do it. We're gonna see pivot out. So yeah, I'm guessing definitely, um, definitely scarfed is my thought here. We're gonna go ahead and hear the Dragald come in as we set up a nasty plot. Um. And so, can I KO this Dragalge with, like, a plus two Dark Pulse so where I'm not having to risk a Bleak Wind Mist Storm? A Bleak Wind Storm Miss. Jeez. Uh, it'd be a roll depending on their investment. Um, so, we're going to risk it. Come on, Torn, this is the final. Oh, freaking Torn. Dude, this is the final week, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Torn, you asshole. Oy. Wait, man. Okay. I mean... We just go back into Mercer and repeat the cycle. Dude! Torn! Why? 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 <laughs> There's nothing for me to say with this guy. He missed like... He missed six flying stab moves in a row in between weeks six and seven um missed a bunch earlier in the season i think like week two and now we're missing another one as much as i love torn i mean man dude gotta be better i actually did uh debate running a physical set this week i was looking at weakness policy uh acro sets i think that would have been so heat but it's all good so maybe next time <sighs> You know what I should have done? Maybe I should have just let Keldeo take out my Earth Ring so I could go into um go into Azumarill the following turn. That could have been a thing. Cause I don't think the Porygon 2 can stop me by Azumarill. No matter what. So maybe that was a better move. Yeah, I should have let myself go down. And I thought about that, but I was like, eh. I, I was hoping they'd just like water move. Um because I felt like that was also safe uh, and would predict my torn come in which has already happened before but they did not but we're gonna see the p2 finally come in we're gonna see a download raise your attack you dumb dumb and we're gonna get a sleep talk off what are we gonna see do i care to rest up on this thing uh i don't think so I don't think I do. I mean, I can just cause. And just see what this thing wants to do. Like I said, I'm not really afraid of this thing. I don't know what it wants to do to me. We do outspeed it, which is really, really good. That means that my uh, zoom row is definitely going to outspeed this thing. So, Ursaring to this Porygon 2. We're going to see Terra Blast. Ooh, that's kind of cool. That makes sense, because then you have the normal typing. Ooh, I like that. The so Terra is going to do 20% to me. Um, so that's pretty offensive. Wait, yeah, it did 20% to me. That's a pretty offensive Porygon 2. Meaning that it's probably max HP, max special attack. So it definitely could be Trick Room then. Uh, it definitely could be. Am I free just to go into Torn and start pressuring this thing with Nasty Plots and stuff? That or I can just go into Urshifu and uh, start iron heading this thing down. Because how much are you doing, Ursaring, to this thing? Or I'm sorry, Urshifu, to this thing. If you Terra Fairy on me right now, we can maybe two shot it. Um, let's go into Torn. Torn's more extendable. Doesn't really matter too much, I don't think. Um. In the back of my head, though, I am thinking about Trick Room on this thing. That could totally be a thing. 
They're gonna double though. So that means that this Porygon 2 is definitely in range. Uh, we're gonna see Sea Breeze come out the the Keldeo. How about you take me out, dude? Just do it. Just take me out. I can go ahead and Nasty Plot again though. Super super free. Maybe Torn gets to clean up. Maybe Torn gets another sweep this season. Because I mean I think we're good. I think we win this game. I don't think there's anything our opponent can do to uh, beat us at this point. I think we're in a phenomenal spot. Yeah, dude. I think they could have brought so like no Spectre, no Ursa Luna is crazy. I had zero pivots in Ursa Luna. Does that let an Ursa free afterwards? Sure. But you have a Terra Fairy Porygon too. You got Grimstar with screens. I don't understand why you don't bring Ursa Luna. Uh, Spectre, I get it. It's cool. But we're gonna go ahead and see this thing surf me. Oh, oh. Uh, that's cool. That's so cool. That's so fine. Take me out. It's a zoom rules time. It's a zoom rules time. I'm gonna go ahead and click Bleak Wind. You're gonna KO me. So, Keldeo kills. I mean, I didn't need to do that, right? I could have just gone into a zoom rule. But it's fine. Because now we get to go. Oh, not into you. You are fainted. We're gonna go into our zoom rule here. And knock on wood, I just did. I think we're in a good spot to win this game. We're gonna go ahead and click Valley Drum here. And we should be good. I'm really hoping so. Going to Azu. Porygon 2's in range. Uh, Keldeo can't touch me and is in range of player up as well. We'll have to take a hit from Keldeo. Rotom drops to Aqua Jet. Dragal drops to um, player off as well. So we're gonna go ahead. What are we gonna see here? We're gonna see the Dragal come in. And Azumarill, I just need you here to connect. I just need you to connect, my guy. All right, this is your time to shine. We run defensive, you know, uh, defensive disruption sets all season with you. This is your time to sign, shine. This is it. Let's see it. Let's see it. Let's see it. Come on, please, please. I wonder if Aqua Jet would have killed. I didn't calc it. No! Please, 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 please! No! Why? Why? Oh my goodness. And now that Torn dropped, maybe we're not in such a good spot anymore, man. Dude. Bleak winds. Fucking. Ah. This thing would have been dead. Um, This is how it goes, right? So against this Dragulge, what are we looking at? What are we looking at with our standard player up? I think we might be able to pick up the KO. Cook it again. Come on. You should have done that last turn, mate. You really should have. You could have had your thing done. You could have done your thing. The drag kills Azu. Um, could I go into Mr. Urshifu and Trailblaze up right now? Oh, we're doing zero. Um, what else could we do then? I mean, I guess we go into it anyways, and we just fire off an Iron Head. Oh man, we might lose now. Kelly looks super, super nice with uh, their fighting moves. We might just lose because of that. Tough. Uh, let's go ahead and click. Uh, is it Brick Break kill? Brick Break kills. I think Brick Break's a good neutral move. It's the Kelio come in if they decide to do that. So let's go ahead and Brick Break. We're going to take it out. So Urshi kills um, Duragulge. Yeah, that Keldeo's going to be a problem. Can I live a hit from the Keldeo? Oh, man. With my Urshifu? Keldeo, where is Garfed? Whatever, Specs, and get rid of it. Um, Secret Sword, oh, my whole Google Chrome just went black, so I will never know. <laughs> uh, hello. Yeah, my Google Chrome is not Google Chroming. There we go. So, we actually live it. Um... But it's not in range. But if we take this thing out right now, 
or put this thing in range. Uh, can Domphan take two? Maybe that's my better play. Can Domphan take two? Secret Swords? Because I can. I think I do that then. We're going to go into Domphan right now. And maybe we can get a knockoff on this thing. Flip turn. Good play. I mean, they needed that ship as well in order to KO me. Oh, man. I can't believe that. Not just the Bleak Wind Storm under Gulge earlier would have been KO'd. And then Zumo missing the player up there. We would have swept. It's tough, dude. It's so tough out here. Uh, I think I go ahead and set up my rocks here. Keep P2 chipped, and so I can always 2 KO it with Iron Heads and stuff. Um, yeah. I think I just stay in here and get my rocks up. And then we'll pivot out into Urshifu, I suppose. Or not Urshifu, Ursaring. I can also knock this thing. Uh, which one's more important? I suppose knocking this thing off is better. So that maybe my Earth Ring has a better time later against it, in case it needs to 1v1 it. The Key Tracker recovers, because that might become a thing now. We're going to go ahead and get the knockoff on this thing. Get rid of its Eviolite, which is super nice. We're going to set up our rocks this turn. And then probably have to take like a Ice Beam, to be honest, which is going to suck. Let's get our power rocks. It's going to be super important for that Keldeo to get chipped down. We're going to take a big... Is that a crit? Wow. Um, yeah. Let's go into Urshifu then. Go into Urshifu. I'm free to click... Iron Head against this thing because they can't hit me with anything. They have to tear a fairy in order to hit my Dawn Fan. Or not hit my Dawn Fan. To hit my Urshifu. But also, they just need Ice Beam Chip. They just need the chip in order for Keldeo to kill me right now. So maybe my better play was going into Ursaring and just stalling this thing out. Is it too late to pivot out? Not really. Um, Oregon 2. Yeah, I think I should have gone into. The other thing first, the uh, Ursaring. Go to the Evil Light. Brick Brick is not KO in this thing. So I might as well go for the Iron Head Flinch, I suppose. I mean, I deserve it, I feel like, at this point, right? I'm going to go ahead and pivot out. I, I think that's my better play. I shouldn't have gone into this in the first place. <laughs> that sucks. That sucks. That's why I get for speaking early so soon. And I knocked on wood. Come on, dude. I freaking knocked on wood. Okay, so we're going to see the Terra Fair here. So that helps me out. Um, had I Iron Headed on that, would I have killed uh, on the Terra Fairy? No, nah, definitely not. It would I would have needed to flinch no matter what. <sighs> that sucks. And this thing, the Porygon needs to be at like half health for me to KO with an Iron Head. How many more turns of sleep do I have? I think I have... No, no, no. I wake up this turn. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and click Body Slam, see if we can get the, the, uh, para. If we get the para on the Keldeo, then we can Trailblaze and maybe win. But we're just not in a good spot right now. But I live this hit, I get to rest up the, oh, well, I don't get to rest up the following turn. And I misclicked, I was just spam clicking. <laughs> That's how it goes. That's how it goes. That's how our season ends. Um... Partially on a misplay there at the end, but mainly on some hacks, which, you know, it is what it is. Torn's been missing all season. Uh, oh, man, that sucks. But that's how it goes. I don't have another league lined up after this one, so I'm not sure what my next big league will be. But hopefully that will be one soon on the channel. Um, go ahead and iron head this thing. Can we get some flinchies? That was actually big damage. Ah. So, that's going to be game. GG. As opposed to our opponent. Go check them out. Go check out all the other BBR coaches. Specifically, go check out... Uh, I think their name is going to say It's Whatever and Die Tight down in the description below. Both of them, um, 
should make playoffs? I guess I don't know yet, but they might make playoffs. But either way, even if they don't make playoffs, you guys should go check them out anyways, because um, they're great, right? Good content. So go check them out. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I want to thank you guys so much for the support throughout this EBR season. Not the performance we wanted to have, of course. Um, had some trouble uh, getting started earlier in the season, and then just some bad luck along the way. But it's okay. It's okay. Um, so, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you are new. And I'll uh, see you guys next time. Peace.